Hey guys, my name is Melissa. So this video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can buy SafeMoon altcoins. I made a very similar video about a month ago, but there's been some minor changes that's been happening. Apple removed the ability to add the DAP browser on your Trust Wallet, so we're gonna have to tweak this a little bit for all the iPhone users out there. Anyways, let's just get started. First, you're gonna have to download the app called Trust Wallet. Here's how the Trust Wallet app looks like. Make sure to download that. Now let's open the app and sign up. This part is very crucial. Write these keywords down and make sure to not lose it. This is pretty much your password for your crypto wallet. You'll be asked to put those keywords in order just like they were before. Then here is your crypto wallet. Then now, you will need to buy some Smart Chain BNB coins to trade for a safe moon crypto. Tap that buy button on the top right. Then put the amount of money you want to use for purchase. I'm going to be doing $100 for this one. Put in your card details, and it is recommended to use a debit card instead of a credit card as they could lead to higher fees and more likely to get denied. Your bank will block the transaction at first, so you will need to call your bank to say that you want to unblock the transaction. This is not my first time buying it, so it is automatically authorized as I've already made the call before. It could take a couple of minutes for it to reflect on your wallet, so please do not panic immediately. It took me exactly 6 minutes, but I know for some other people in the past, they even waited for hours for it to show up on their wallet. You'll notice that my $100 turned into $90 because of the high transaction fees. For Android users, you'll see these 4 icons at the bottom, but for iPhone users, you cannot add that 4th DAP browser anymore. So if you are an Android user, you'll tap that browser tab, then look for PancakeSwap. You'll then unlock the wallet, then tap Trust Wallet. But for iPhone users, we will manually be going to the internet browser. I'll be using Safari on this one, and then type in PancakeSwap.Finance as your URL. Tap on that top left button for the dropdown, then tap Trade, then Exchange. Now, we want to connect our Trust Wallet. Do not click on Trust Wallet even though I know that that would be the most common sense thing to do. Instead, choose Wallet Connect and then Trust Wallet. Tap Connect, then go back to your internet browser. So I would want to exchange the max amount that I put in. Then, you're gonna choose to trade it to SafeMoon. So SafeMoon recommends to do 12% for the slippage tolerance, then tap Swap, confirm Swap, and then Send. Then go back to your internet browser again. You can check the status of your transaction by going on BSC Scan. If it says Success, your money should now show up on your Trust Wallet. This varies from person to person, so if it doesn't say Success yet, you may have to wait for it. Now, we're going to go back to our Trust Wallet to see if our money is in there. Do not panic if you don't see your money up there yet. It is because we don't have SafeMoon visible on the wallet yet. Just tap on that top right button, then type in SafeMoon. Tap that button next to it and make it green, then tap Done. There you go. I know that was a process, but you now have some SafeMoon altcoins stored in your wallet. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that we're headed to the moon one day.